Even with the cutting-edge travel technology of the modern world, exploring a new place, regardless of its location, is not hard. However, hundreds of other inscrutable places have either been locked shut or cannot be visited legally for one reason or another. Unless you're associated with some of the most powerful individuals across the globe, there's absolutely no way you're getting in any of these places. Not sure what we're referring to? Don't worry. Just sit tight and allow us to take you on a journey to five of the most heavily guarded places in the world. Fort Knox, or the United States Bullion Depository, is considered one of the most heavily guarded places in the world for all the right reasons. The building is home to about half of the United States gold reserves, making security the top priority. It wouldn't be wrong to mention that you won't really be able to get too close to the building, as it's surrounded by a steel fence. The building itself gives you an idea of its fortitude. Made of concrete-lined granite and reinforced by adding steel, Fort Knox withstands attacks as if it has all the six Infinity Stones. According to the US Treasury's press release, Fort Knox is heavily equipped with all the latest and high-tech protective devices, although it's still unclear what these devices actually are. Rumours suggest that the vault grounds are heavily surrounded by landmines and electric fences. Even though what's inside Fort Knox still remains a mystery, the United States Treasury doesn't hide anything about the guards outside the building premises. There's one guard box and other sub-sentry boxes that are strategically placed by the entrance on each corner of the building. Additionally, the basement of Fort Knox has a massive shooting range where the guards regularly practice. Nonetheless, if anything were to happen, the site shares its home with almost 40,000 soldiers and civilian employees that work at the Fort Knox Army Post. Haven Co. started off as an offshore data haven founded by numerous idealists on the Principality of Sealand, an artificial island in the North Sea. The Principality of Sealand claimed its sovereignty due to the location and history that was associated with it in the first place. Diving into history, it's reported that Sealand was used as an anti-aircraft platform during World War II by the British Navy guarding the international waters. Later, the small platform was subsequently occupied by a pirate radio broadcaster, which later led to its declaration as a sovereign nation. Even though the status of this abandoned platform has been tested in numerous minor court cases that have been affirmed, there has never been a single head-on challenge with the general policy of non-confrontation. The Haven Co. Sealand is located approximately six miles from the coast of Suffolk, southeast England. Situated on top of two large concrete pillars in the middle of the North Sea, there's a probable chance that the majority of us haven't even heard of it. Given the coordinates, even then, it becomes difficult to reach this place. Haven Co. is also regarded as a hyper-secure data fortress, which is almost impossible for anybody to trace other than those who work there. Considering the mysteriousness that revolves around it, what struck everyone as a flash of lightning was that Haven Co. ended its operations in 2008. So much so that everything was dissolved without even an explanation. Haven Co. Sealand was one of those companies that were responsible for providing data protection to thousands of people. Considering how it was located miles offshore, it needed a brave heart to try accessing it. Today there are efforts to relaunch the infamous island back to its original glory as a data protection centre. While a few articles exist, there isn't much information as to how the progress is coming. The list of some of the most heavily guarded places in the world can never be completed if the border between North and South Korea is not considered. The Korean Demilitarized Zone, or commonly known as Korean DMZ, is a two and a half miles wide and 150 miles long band that divides the peninsula. After the Korean War ended in 1953, the DMZ has been littered with scores of landmines and barbed wire fences. Being a nightmarishly difficult border to cross, there's a special buffer zone inside the Truce Village, known as the Joint Security Area, a conference room that straddles the military border. It's located at Panmunjom, 
and is about 35 miles north of Seoul. Every year, hundreds and thousands of people visit the Joint Security Area in the quest to witness the North Korean soldiers standing just a few feet away. Another main attraction for this tourist spot is that it allows the visitors to officially step into North Korean territory, administered by the United Nations. The JSA was recognized afterward as a common place where the officials from both countries could meet face to face. However, visiting this place legitimately feels like a military theater. With stern warnings constantly repeated by the South Korean soldiers, it's strictly prohibited to make gestures at the North Korean soldiers. Nonetheless, the Korean DMZ is one of the most heavily guarded places that are worth a visit. In 2019, then US President Donald Trump made history as the first sitting president to cross into the DMZ. Anyone with the slightest bit of interest in record keeping and archiving is bound to be familiar with the name Iron Mountain. The business is named after the famous limestone mine located nearly 60 meters below the ground and surpassing 500,000 meters worth of vaults. These vaults are being utilized by people from various races of life, be it the US government or the Hollywood studios. With over 1.7 million square feet of vaults, the Iron Mountain is the home of some of the world's most important and valuable secret documents and possessions. For example, one of these vaults houses Edison's patent rights for the incandescent bulb. This is precisely why the one and only entrance to the vault is protected by two waves of armed guards. The entrance of any person to the facility involves extremely notorious and thorough security procedures. So if you own anything costly or something of incalculable worth, then Iron Mountain is exactly the place you should consider placing them in. In the heart of the Vatican City and under the ownership of the Pope himself are present the Vatican secret archives. This esteemed place is the home to all acts distributed and spread by the Holy See or the See of Rome. All the valuable material stored in these archives belongs to the current elected Pope of the city and is passed on to his successor following his death or resignation. The archives collect all documents, state papers, correspondences and account books that are deemed beyond valuable by the Catholic Church. In the 17th century, by the orders of Pope Paul V, the secret archives were separated from the Vatican Library. The sole reason for limiting the access to these precious records was the fear that Protestant scholars could use this material to defame, embarrass or degrade the Catholic Church. Later in 1879, under the rule of Pope Leo XIII, archivist Cardinal Joseph Hergenrother recommended that historians be granted access. The archives were eventually opened in 1881, but only for extremely impartial and critical research. Even today, the archives have several policies that restrict access, but in some cases, popes have granted exceptions. One of them being in 2002, when Pope John Paul II allowed a group of researchers to access documents from the archives regarding Germany's relations with the Holy See. The Pope considered this research essential to end any talks about relations between the Catholic Church and the Nazi Party. Our planet is full of amazing and secretive places. Perhaps the truly most heavily guarded places are ones we don't even know about. As it turns out, Heavy publicity to such places is quite the security risk, making secrecy all the most important. I'm sure as time goes on we'll learn more about the most heavily guarded places on Earth. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.